There's finally a way to share live photos on social media. I'm Bridget Carey. This is your CNET Update. Live photos are taken with the iPhone success, and they're the closest thing we have to those moving photos you see in Harry Potter movies. It's a still image, but when you press on the screen, you can see about a second before and after it was taken. Just a moment in time, and it also records audio. It's basically a mini movie. Only the newest iPhone 6S models can create these, and they could be shared with another iPhone or iPad with iOS 9 but they could not be shared to a social network until now. Tumblr just updated its app to include 3D touch, so you can press a photo to make it come alive. Android users, though, still only see a regular non-moving photo. There are workarounds to share it with the world, because the iPhone is really just saving this as a .mov video file. You can hook it up to a computer to import the movie file, and then use a GIF-making tool to turn it into a looping image. You can find more tips on how to do this at CNET. Now, Tumblr, which is owned by Yahoo, is the first network to work with these live photos. And that's not all Yahoo's up to these days. Yahoo Mail now supports Gmail, as in you can put your Gmail inside of the main Yahoo Mail app, along with AOL Mail and some Outlook accounts. And it's all in one inbox. Back in October, Yahoo redesigned its Mail app, but Gmail wasn't compatible until now. And speaking of Google, the Google Photos app is getting a new feature that will be very handy for holiday parties. Google Photos now has shared albums, which which lets multiple people add photos into one album. Here's what I mean. Five people are at an event, everyone's snapping pictures, and to share, everyone can dump the photos into one shared album. A creator will invite people to join a shared album, and everyone can select the photos they want the group to see. There's no limit to how much you want to upload, it's free. And if grandma doesn't use Google, well, you could just send her the URL link later. And if you need to pay back someone for a gift, you can now just text them the money with Google Wallet. The Google Wallet app will let you send a text message to send money to any phone number. The recipient will get a text message with a link so they can enter in their debit card info to claim the money. The updated Google Wallet app is now in the Google Play Store and it's coming to Apple's App Store in a few days. That's it for this Tech News Update and there's more at CNET.com. From our studios in New York, I'm Bridget Carey.